Yo, what is up guys? Do you want to learn how to make some lower thirds or call to actions just like these that you can use on your stream? Let's get to it. Does your stream need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Hills and I'm your content cleric. And around here, I teach you how to make your stream look really good on an absolute budget by using programs like Canva and a lot of other free or low budget options. If you'd like to support this channel, make sure you subscribe down below and check me out on, over on Twitch. We stream a lot. All right, let's go and jump into the tutorial today. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on over into Canva. I wanna give you a heads up, everything we're gonna do today can be done with a free account. However, if you wanna open up a ton of extra options, then check down below, I'll have a 30 day free trial of Canva Pro for you guys to check out. So first thing we're gonna do is open up Canva. You can either go canva.com, create your account, um, or you can download the Canva app like I have here. I'm actually really enjoying the app itself. Uh, but just go to create a design, I'm going to scroll down um, and to start with, I want to go with a video. Y'all, I just now noticed there's a Twitch overlay. I'll check that out later. But we're going to find video right here. Now the whole concept is to figure out what you want to make what style you want to make. And so one thing you can do is go through here and you know look at several of these different options and figure out how you want it to look, what will fit your brand. Um, and I decided to do something a little bit different this time is actually want to uh, kind of make something like this little scripty looking one right here, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my background black. We will change this later. Actually, no, we're gonna keep it black for these. Um, I wanna show you guys a new trick um, based on another thing that, that you've seen me do a lot. So with this, I'm just gonna press T to bring in some text and I'm gonna say something like, remember to subscribe, okay? And then I'm gonna grab here, stretch it out and make it bigger. Um, I wanna make sure it is completely centered. We're gonna center up all of our words. You'll see why it's gonna be important to make sure we center everything up later. Um, for the font, I'm gonna go with Brightwall, um, but, but you could go down here and, and, and choose anything you want. There is an absolute ton of options. You will find something that fits your brand. But for now, I wanna go with this kind of scripty, pretty-ish style. And again, I'm going to make sure it is completely centered with these lines. Um, I could always also do position, middle, center, so middle, center. Um, and then I want to add some sort of little like handwritten element on it. So I'm gonna do handwritten um, line. Let's do line. And see what we can find. Maybe hand drawn line is what I was looking for. Yeah, and I wanna go with like this one, but we could get really go with any of these that we wanted. Um, I think this one right here looks nice because we can actually take it, uh, change it to white, kinda add a little tilt to it and size it down. And I just want it to, um, oh, if I can grab a hold of it, want it to be placed right here kinda on this R. I have to adjust that tilt just a little bit more. Uh, yeah, something, something kind of like that. So now that we have the design done, so the first thing we want to do is make the design. Now that the design is done, start with your text. Now we could group this um, just like this and then animate it all together. Something like this could look really good depending on how you want it to work. Um, however, I find that if we ungroup it and we start with the words themselves, we have a lot more animation options, right? Um, and some of these that I really like are um, like these exaggerate are kind of nice, but I really like these handwriting style ones. So you have the typewriter where it kind of types itself in. You have the uh, ascend where each word comes in themselves. Um, also kind of like the, the merge here. Anyway, you can kind of go through these and pick out the ones that you want. Um, for me, I want to do the burst. I think looks really good with this script font. Um, you can also set your intensity uh, of how hard it bursts in or, or whatever. I'm gonna go with a little bit, uh, a smaller amount sort of like that. And I want it to be on both. So that's on enter and on exit. So I went ahead and went with both. Next thing I wanna do is I do want to animate this. And uh, again, we can see how it's gonna work with all of them. Um, I think the best is, 
right here, the pop, it kind of pops in and then remember to subscribe comes in. So there, that is that is honestly the first design that is completely done, okay? Um, and so I really just wanna make sure that it, it remains centered on the screen. So now I will group these and position middle center. And I'm just gonna play, make sure it still comes in. Perfect, exactly how I want it to be. Um, and then you see it's gonna go out. Oh, um, I'm, I'm glad we played that back because I noticed something that I missed. Uh, so let's ungroup and go to this one and go to its animation and I need it to be on both because I want it to pop back out as well. So now I can group it, make sure it's position middle center and play back through to make sure it's good. All right, looks good to me. All right, so that is design number one. Now, obviously we could go ahead, um, copy this design over, so duplicate it out, right? Um, and just like this, we could ungroup it and we could say something like, you know, check the merch shop, right? Uh, or something like that. And then, you know, size this, make it kind of fit in a way that looks good. Um, just try to keep that branding consistent something something like that right and and then this is you know essentially already done it's going to kind of come in say its own thing then we would come in click share download and i would actually do one page at a time because i want them to be their own videos and then we'll export as an mp4 now i'm just going to go ahead and do the first one we'll go ahead and download it as an mp4 and while that's downloading i'm going to open a new tab and we will go with yet a, another video. If I can find it, there it is. So for this one, um, I just wanna come up with a little bit of a different design. So I'm gonna set the background as black. Um, now, one thing I meant to say while I was over here is I'm exporting as a black background because I have no black in my text. If I had black in my text, this would not work at all. But assuming that I'm doing white text or um, it just does not look centered to me. Um, I, I don't, for whatever reason, I, this is not centered. Anyway, that's me getting nitpicky. Um, if I were using black in my design, I would not use black. I would change this to a bright green. If you've seen my other videos, you know that you wanna go with a green that hurts your eyes. That's how you know it's green enough. Um, but for this design in particular, um, and all my following designs, they are not gonna have black in them. So I'm going to use black and I'm gonna use a Luma key in OBS. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, but for the second design, let's go ahead. I like to start with the templates just to look and try to get an idea. Um, of, of what we wanted to do. And, and I would like to have something, I'm l only looking at the text here. I'm not, I don't plan on using any of the stuff in the background. Okay, let's let's see, this this actually, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, this would be cheating for me to actually use this because honestly, this is ready to go. You can use this just the way it is. Now, maybe you want to add in a second page with this on it. Um, so now they kind of play together. Uh, that's really long. Let's cut this back to, you know, two, two seconds, right? And maybe cut this one back to about the same. So drag this over here now. There you go. Or maybe I guess you adjust this into, let's try one second. To where it does the one click. Yeah, just like that. So that one is done so we'll we'll go ahead and i'm just i'm going to download this one too why why not guys and this one uh, i do want both pages because it is a video that is put together first and second page play in um you know chronological order so there we go download that one um i'm going to go ahead this time i want to do something a little bit different i want to do an animated logo because whenever i go with an animated logo yes this background changes i'm going to give this a black background just so i don't have to keep looking at a bright screen. But from here, I, w I could go through and I could look at all of these, um, these different logos. I'm looking at templates. I'm just looking for a template that I could use. I actually think this one's really, really cool. Um, so you could do um, something like subscribe, right? Expand it out just a little. Then we say something like it's for uh, Support. I don't know, that might be too long for the, what I have here. Yeah, thanks for the support, something like that. Okay, and now, obviously, like I said before, we cannot have, um, we can't have black text. So I'm going to make both, make both of these texts white, um, which is not gonna appear very well on this. I'm gonna delete that background out of the back. 
um, and then I'm gonna make the background here black, okay? So now I have, you know, something like that. That looks really good, I think. Now the animation is not set to go back out, and so I'm gonna make sure I change it to both on these so that it will come in, and then it will also go right back out. Just like that. That I think looks really good. And so again, I'm going to go ahead and download that. These, I wish I could figure out a way to incorporate those in my stream branding, I think look really good. Um, but let's say we wanna search for gaming logos, right? And again, all I'm really looking for is the text. I'm looking for a, a design um, that I can utilize here. Um, and so I'll save that. Uh, and I want something, you know, something that has some interesting stuff kind of happen here. Um, all right, so let's do this one. I'm just gonna replace the current page because I've already saved the other one. This looks, I think, really cool. I could see this being a, uh, a really cool alert, right? And so new subscriber. Just give me a touch along. Does that work? I think it actually might work doing double like that. Okay, so yeah, just, just like that, that's done. So let's, um, this one plays for 10 seconds. Okay, so what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna group this together. So select everything and group, and then I wanna animate it all onto the screen. So what feels, let's do a, let's do, I think a neon kind of feels good. It, it feels, you know, I think neon works for this design. Uh, and I want it to be on both so that it's gonna come in, it's gonna last for about 10 seconds, then it's gonna go back out. Now this itself could be a really good alert. And so here we would just download it exactly the same way. So I'm gonna go and download this and we could use this for a, an alert or, or anything else. So there we have, we have several designs. I think that is a, a good start for us. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into stream elements. So first thing we're gonna do is hop into stream elements, go over here to my overlays. Then I'm gonna to go to new overlay. Uh, 1080 is perfectly fine. I'm going to add a layer, no, static custom, and you're gonna go with asset, rotator, or slideshow. So what I'm making here with this is basically a call to action. And so you may have something in the bottom left of your stream that pops up and says, hey, remember to follow, remember to subscribe, check out the merch shop, you know, whatever variety of things, but you don't want them to just keep popping up over and over and over. That'll get really annoying, really redundant. So what you probably want to do is have them pop up every five minutes, you know, another one pops up and it stays up 10 seconds and it goes back down, right? It stays up 10 seconds, goes back down. Um, and if you're doing it that way, then when you created these in Canva, like this design, you'd want to set this design to last, you know, your full 10 seconds, whatever you're, you're going to have it at, you want it to stay up and last for that 10 seconds. And then it's going to fade back down. Now, again, you're not, you're not limited to this design. You could do a design that has kind of the neon style or, or whatever fits your branding. That is kind of up to your design preference at that point. Um, but you would want this to be however long you're going to let it stay up. For this example, we're just going to um, add in a few assets. Um, I had already made some, but uh, okay, they're not here. That's fine. Go to upload. Um, I'll go to my downloads, and you know I could grab these th three that we just got done making. And I can I can drag those all in, and we'll give it just a minute to load in. And so I think it was these three, right? So submit. Oh, that's why I didn't go to videos. That's my problem. Submit. And um, last one is this one, right? Yes, and submit. Okay, so of course here, this is this is kind of up to you. Size it however you want it to go. Mess with it, make it look how you want. Uh, you can add your delay. Um, Five zero, uh, 500 um, would be five minutes, um, I'm pretty sure. And so whatever you said here, you also wanna set for the iteration pause. And so that's saying, you know, every five minutes, put up one of these. Now I'm not gonna do that just because it would take me a very long time to show you the example of what it happens. Uh, show the images for five seconds, however you wanna do it. I'm gonna keep it at five seconds for now, um, because to be honest with you, I forgot to give it a certain time in Canva before I brought it over here. Um, and then I'm gonna save it, and I'm just gonna save this as a YouTube uh, CTA, uh, so call to action is all that means. And then I'm gonna copy my URL. Okay, so now that I have that URL copied, you guys are gonna get a little bit of inception as I bring over my OBS, I apologize. 
I, I don't have a better way to do it right now. So here we go. Sorry for the inception and sorry for the messy OBS. Uh, but you're just hitting your plus sign. You're going to go to browser. Um, you're going to create a new browser source. I'm going to call this YouTube call to action. Click OK. Go ahead and paste in that link that we just copied. Change this to 1920 by 1080. Um, and that's all I'm going to do for right now. And it should start playing. There we go. Top left corner. See how it's working. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I want to open up my filters because you see that that black box right there. We we clearly don't want that. So I'm going to move this back over. You don't necessarily have to see that. Now that you can see my filters, I'll put them right there. Okay. So now if you went with a black background like I did, then you're going to want to add a Luma key. However, if you were using black, then you probably used that bright green that I showed earlier. In that case, you want to go with a chroma key. Uh, the process works pretty much the same either way. Um, for the Luma key, I'm just going to click Luma key and click OK. And oh my gosh, nothing happened. So we have to make just a few adjustments. So we're going to take our Luma min and we're going to raise that up just a hair. And now um, at this point, I would reach over to my YouTube call to action and I would like size it up because I really want to, to get a good look at it as I make these adjustments. Um, and when one like that pops up, I may pause it or, or something, um, but adjust that Luma min um, to where you can't see any of the background. So I went too low there. I think that looks pretty good. You can also adjust your smoothness uh, just a little bit and, and you can kind of uh, tweak this to what looks good to you. But that I think looks pretty good to me. And so I'm just going to place that back in the top left corner, uh, maybe size it down so it's not too crazy. Uh, but there I have my you know little call to actions that that pop up every so often and um, that's super easy to do um, super easy to use. I'm going to go and actually turn this back off. Um, but that is essentially all there is to it. I do hope that was helpful. I hope you guys make some really, really cool stuff. And if you do, make sure you join my Discord down below uh, and post in the share your art category. It is literally there for you guys to post your creations. I'd love to check out what you guys made, how creative you've gotten with this. And remember, if you want to continue supporting this channel, subscribe here on YouTube and check me out over on Twitch. Guys, I do appreciate you. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll catch you in the next one. I admit, it doesn't feel great, but unless you can win, it's over. Okay, you might win. You could win. Is this a win? Is this a win? Come on. Oh, no. No. Stop it. Well played. Yes. <laughs>